Happy Monday! I will be reading one of my favorite stories, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. The first thing I want to ask is, what season are we in? If you said spring, you are correct. And so with spring, we see lots of caterpillars. So I thought it would be great to read a book about the very, very hungry caterpillar. So here's that book. And it is called The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. So he started off as an egg. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny, very hungry caterpillar. So what do you think that he's going to eat? He's so hungry now. What do you think he's going to eat? I love those ideas. Let's see. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. So let's count so far, how many fruits have he eaten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is a lot of fruit. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. Why do you think he had a stomach ache? Hmm. Yeah, you're probably right. Look at all of the food that he had. And he's so tiny. So he had a little tummy ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. He wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and... What do you think happened? What do you think? <gasps> He was a beautiful butterfly. So now that we've read the story, I want to ask you some questions. First off, what was the big, big problem in the story for the caterpillar? 
Let's think. He started off as a little egg and then he became a caterpillar. And when he became a caterpillar, he was like, I'm so hungry. So he tried to solve that problem. He just kept eating and eating and eating. And then what happened after he ate so much? He had a tummy ache, that's right. So what did he do to solve his tummy ache problem? How did he solve his problem? Do you remember there was one special thing that he ate that helped him solve his problem? Let's go back in the story and see. <gasps> if we check our story, he ate a big green leaf and that made his tummy feel better. What I want you to do is I want you to draw a picture of your favorite thing that our little caterpillar ate while he was on his little journey. What was the favorite thing that he ate? My favorite thing that he ate was, let's see, the cupcake. Mm, mm, mm. Looks yummy. What was your favorite thing that he ate? Draw a picture and send me a picture of it. It was nice reading with you guys. See you next Monday. Bye.